As of September 2011, the wars in Iraq and Afghanistan have taken the lives of more than 7,000 U.S. and coalition forces. Researchers at West Virginia University are trying to make the battlefield safer for these soldiers by creating a new, unique line of unmanned aerial vehicles for reconnaissance and defense. The WVU researchers' creations are smart munitions. They are shaped like traditional 60 and 40 millimeter mortar shells and launched using conventional mortar systems. Once airborne, the UAVs deploy wings and fly to their destination to transmit video or photos or unleash weapons. The ultimate goal, of course, is to give the soldier this unique weapon, increase his or her safety out in the field. It's unique because there's really not anything to compare it to at this point. They could provide you with unprecedented, beyond the line of sight, uh, situational awareness in a battlefield, which typically wasn't available. The WVU researchers' challenge is to create a device that is compact, but can hold a variety of complex electronics and is durable enough to withstand the gravitational force of a mortar launch. The things that we have to pack in there uh, would be camera, communication, autopilot, onboard computer, actuators to help the uh, steering mechanisms, things like that. And that's just, once you have the wings there too, that's a lot to fit into such a small volume. WVU's relationship with the U.S. military began in the early 2000s. In 2009, the university secured a $2.2 million grant from the Department of Defense with the help of then-Congressman Alan Mollahan. The researchers have been testing the projectiles at WVU Jackson's Mill and at the WVU farm in Preston County. When you've got the kind of research organization that exists at West Virginia University, they're very aggressive, they're on the cutting edge. They identified this whole area of unmanned aerial vehicles and uh, dealing with the, uh, with the research people in the Defense Department. They developed a program that has made major contributions to particularly small UAVs. DOD was an area where we had never explored the opportunities. So you do two or three things right, they come back to you. You do a bigger program right, other agencies will hear about it. And uh, this is what's happened in this case. So from a $100,000 a year program, we've now got into a couple million dollars plus program. WVU's continued relationship with the U.S. military could create a multi-million dollar research enterprise at the university and further boost the economy of West Virginia. More importantly, however, it will reduce the greatest cost of war, human lives.